Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. Once again, we're going to be doing an ammo video talking about uh, price per round. Uh, naturally, if you guys are watching, you'll see what it costs per box. But uh, realistically, this is something I've been doing every month since the beginning of the year minus one month but outside of that i've been doing it every single month to provide you guys with some data so you can analyze whether or not now's a good time to buy maybe hold off a little bit so on and so forth now i understand that buying ammo online is cheaper than the prices that you're going to see in these videos i totally get that but what this does do is provide you a uh, market trend as to what's happening in the market specifically in my area i'm smack dab in the middle of the united states i've been looking at prices at big box stores and i know the prices are higher but looking at kansas city wichita and my local area uh, i can kind of give you guys some data points as to what we're seeing cost per round price per round so with that being said i think now is a good time to kind of plus up on some ammunition that you might need for me it's going to be like hunting rounds maybe experiment with some new types of rounds uh, as deer season starts to come along here in the next six ish months so um, now would be a pretty good time because we're seeing a plateauing effect of prices at the moment and some other ammunition is starting to come down just a little bit now i'm not saying not saying to go panic buy i'm saying that if you have a gap that maybe you need i don't know 40 60 rounds of some personal protective rounds of uh, your pistol or maybe you need to plus up maybe 100 or 200 rounds of 5.56, 223 or 308 or something like that now would probably be a good time I've been getting a lot of comments saying oh it's you youtubers like that are out there causing a panic and stuff like that it's not what i'm doing with this video and if you would actually take time to look into what i'm doing here you'll see that i'm just trying to provide you guys data to make a decision point for you on whether or not you want to buy now or hold off a little bit what i can tell you with all the geopolitics that's going on around the world and uh the 5th of november coming never closer remember remember the 5th of november the gunpowder treason and plot now is probably a good time to uh go ahead and plus up on some of your stock so with all of that being said let's dive into it like i said we went to the shields in wichita kansas i was in the area for a medical course with dark angel medical really great two-day course and um, i was really surprised to see a lot of ammo on the shelves good variation with rifle and pistol but one area that we did see that was a little lacking in variability is in 22 long rifle there was stock on the shelves but not a lot of different types so let's dive into it 22 long rifle starting off with the cci 40 grain standard velocity coming in at 11 cents per round that uh price tag there 21.99 is for the 325 box so just keep that in mind moving on from there we have cci 32 grain stinger at nine cents a round we have cci 40 grain ar tactical at 10 cents a round winchester 36 grain white box at 7.5 cents a round and then remington 40 grain thunderbolt at seven cents a round and then rounding it out we have the remington 40 grain high velocity 22 thunderbolt at 7.6 cents a round moving on from there we have nine millimeter um, pretty good stock on the shelves there a little bit of variability on different types of personal defense and we are first starting off with the hornady 115 grain or 124 grain xtp american gunner at 88 cents a round we have sig 115 grain jacket of hollow point rose v crown at a dollar 25 hornady 100 grain or 115 grain ftx critical events at a dollar eight around hornady 135 grain flex lock critical duty at 128 hornady 147 xtp subsonic at a dollar around and then we have the ammo incorporated 
115 grain jacketed hollow point Sierra match bullet at $1.20 around. Federal 124 grain HST at 140 around. Sig 124 grain jacketed hollow point elite defense at 90 cents around. Federal 124 punch 85 cents around. And then we're moving on into uh, the target ammo. We have Blazer and Federal 115 grain full metal jackets, 28 cents around. So seeing those prices come down ever so slightly. We've got Fioki 115 grain FMJs at 30 cents around. And then the Fioki Target Max 115 grain full metal jackets at 28 cents around as well. Moving on from there, we've got the 38 specials. Starting off with the Hornady 90 and 110 grain FTX Critical Defense at $1.20. Federal 110 Hydroshock coming in at $1.30. Hornady 125 XTP at $0.88 cents a round. Blazer 125 grain Full Metal Jackets at $0.60 cents a round. Winchester 130 grain Full Metal Jackets at $0.60 cents a round. Fioki Target Max 130 grain at also one at 60 cents around. And then you had these HSM 148 grain Cowboy Action Watt Cutters at 56 cents around. Fioki 148 grain Jacket at Hollow Point Defense Dynamics at 60 cents per round. Federal 120 grain Plus P Punch at a dollar around. And then rounding that out, we've got the CCI Shot Shells, if you guys are interested in those. Uh, those are $1.70 around. Moving on from there, we had some 357 Magnum. Not a lot, but some on the shelves. We had Hornady 125 grain XTP American Gunner at $0.88 cents around. That's going to be a trend. Remember that. Hornady 125 grain FTX Critical Defense at $1.32. Hornady 140 grain FTX Lever Revolution at $1.40. And Fioki 142 grain full metal jacket target max at 70 cents around. All right, next up is 45 AARP. We have Hornady 185 grain XTP American Gunner at 88 cents around. Told you it's coming back. Hornady 185 grain FTX critical defense at 124. Winchester 185 grain jacket at hollow point silver tip at $1.15 per round. Hornady 220 grain Plus P Flex Lock Critical Duty at a dollar twenty, Hornady 230 grain XTP Subsonic at a dollar eight, Fioki 230 Jacketed Hollow Point Defense Dynamics at seventy cents around, Sig 230 Jacketed Hollow Point V Crown at a dollar fifteen per round. Um, we didn't have a price on that Fioki target match but we'll see it again later it's basically 50 cents around so just keep that in mind moving on from there ammo incorporated 230 grain jacket of hollow point at a dollar 25 federal 230 punch at a dollar 10 federal 230 hst at a dollar 75 and then from there like i mentioned fioki 230 grain target match excuse me target max FMJs at 50 cents per round, just like I said. Moving on from there, we're going to look at the best millimeter, 10 millimeter, starting off with Hornady 185 XTP American Gunner at, you guessed it, 88 cents per round. Hornady 175 grain Flex Lock Critical Duty at $1.28. Fioki 180 grain Target Max FMJ at 60 cents per round. Federal 200 grain HST is going to be 190 rounding out 10 millimeter all right so moving back to rifle calibers um, again good stock on the shelves a lot of variability we've got uh, 223556 starting off with 223 the hornady 53 grain v max super performance at a dollar 30 around Hornady 55 grain VMAX Varmint Express at also $1.30 around. We have Hornady 62 grain FMJ 223 Black at $0.85 cents around. Hornady 73 grain ELD Match at $1.35. PMC 55 grain 556 X-Tech Full Metal Jacket Boat Tail at $0.70 cents around. 
And then moving on over to uh, the M193 and M855. Both of those are going to be at 65 cents per round. They also had some Hornady 62 grain 556 full metal jacket black, which is different than the 223, but it was at 90 cents a round. And then the Fiocchi 55 grain 556 full metal jacket target max at 58 cents per round. Moving on to 3030 Winchester, uh, we've got Remington 150 grain or 170 grain Corlock SP at $1.25. Winchester 150 grain Deer Season XP at $1.45. Federal 150 grain or 170 grain Power Shock at $1.25. Hornady 150 grain Interlock American Whitetail at $1.30. Winchester 150 grain or 170 grain PowerPoint at $1.30. Hornady 160 grain FTX Lever Revolution at $1.60. And then Hornady 175 grain Sub X Subsonic at also $1.60 per round. Moving on from there, we were able to find some 762 by 39 and hold on to your britches. These are going to be expensive, starting off with that Max Tech. 123 grain FMJs at 88 cents per round, but it gets worse with the PMC bronze. The 123 grain FMJs are 95 cents a round. And then Ammo Incorporated had these um, 180 count boxes of 123 grain M67 at 77 cents a round. Holy crepes, that's expensive, but we were able to find some 545 by 39. They had some Hornady 62 grain VMAX black at a dollar around. That was pretty cool. Picked up a couple boxes of that. Moving on from there, uh, we've got 300 blackout, which is basically 762 by 39 with extra steps. But uh, <laughs> we've got some Hornady 110 VMAX black <coughs> at a dollar 40. Federal 120 grain power shock at a dollar 60. Hornady 165 grain hollow point American Gunners at $1.30. Winchester 150 grain Deer Season XP at $1.40. Federal 220 grain OTM Subsonics American Eagle at $1.35. Hornady 190 Sub X Subsonic at $1.50. Hornady 208 AMAX Black at $1.40. And then Remington 220 grain Open tip, flat bottom, subsonic UMC at $1.50. Let's move on to 6.5 Creedmoor, starting off with Hornady 95 grain VMAX Varmint Express at $1.85. Hornady 100 grain ELD VT match at $2 per round. Hornady 120 ELD match at $1.90. Hornady 120 CX Outfitter at $2.10. Federal 120 Trophy Copper at $2.40. Woohoo! Hornady 220 Grain CX Super Performance at $2.35. Winchester 125 Grain Deer Season XP at $1.85. Hornady 129 Grain Interlock American Whitetail at $1.40. Winchester 129 PowerPoint at $1.50. Hornady 129 grain SST Super Performance at $1.95. And some Nosler 140 grain ballistic tip at $2.15. Hornady 140 grain boat tail hollow point American Gunner at $1.48. Remington 140 grain core lock PSPCL at $1.50. Federal 143 grain ELDX at $2.75 cents per round and then rounding out 6.5 Creedmoor we had Hornady 143 grain ELDX Precision Hunter my favorite round at two dollars and fifteen cents which is good to see it coming down just a little bit moving on from there for 308 we have Remington 150 grain core lock PSP at a dollar forty per round Winchester 150 grain deer season XP at a dollar seventy five Hornady 150 grain SST super performance at $1.95. Hornady 150 grain, or later you'll see 165 grain Interlock American Whitetail at $1.40 for both of those. Federal 150 grain Fusion at $1.75. Federal 150 grain or 180 grain J 
jacketed soft point power shock. Both of those are going to be $1.35. Federal 150 grain FMJ at $1.15. Hornady 165 CX Outfitter at $2.10. Hornady 168 grain ELD Match at $2.05. Hornady 168 grain a Max Black at $1.70. Federal 168 grain gold medal at $1.55. Hornady 178 grain ELDX Precision Hunter at $2.15. Seeing a trend there. Federal 180 grain Fusion at $1.75. And then rounding out 308 is Winchester 180 grain PowerPoint at $1.45. Finishing it all up with Boomerot 6, we have Federal 150 grain FMJ American Eagle at $1.65. Federal 150 grain or 180 grain Bonded Soft Point Fusion that you'll see later. Uh, both of those are $1.75. Remington 150 grain core lock tipped is at $2.05. Remington 150 grain core lock PSP at $1.40. Federal 150 grain or later you'll see 180 grain jacket of soft point power shock. Both of those are $1.35. Hornady 150 grain SST super performance at $1.95. Winchester 150 grain or later you'll see 180 grain power point at $1.45. Both of those are $1.45. Hornady 150 grain or later, you'll also see 180 grain. Interlock American Whitetail at $1.40 per round. Winchester 150 grain Deer Season XP at $1.75. Federal 165 Barnes TSX at $2.34 a round, the most expensive on the docket. Federal 175 grain Terminal Ascent at $2.25 a round. Federal 178 grain ELDX at $2.30. Hornady 178 grain ELDX Precision Hunter at, you guessed it, $2.15. Hornady 180 grain CX Outfitter at $2.20. And then Hornady 180 grain SST Super Performance at $2 per round. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I think this would be a good time for you guys to maybe plus up on some ammunition that you need for maybe hunting season coming up or personal defense stuff. Uh, maybe you just need an extra couple hundred rounds of uh, M193 or M855. I'm not telling you to hoard or panic buy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not trying to cause drama here. I'm just saying that since we're seeing a plateau of prices at the moment, we might want to go ahead and plus up on some stuff since, uh, once again, the 5th of November is quickly approaching. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgotten. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by and checking things out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, with that being said, as always, freedom through strength. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.